Hey everyone, Grant here from Happy Tans. In this quick video, I want to show you how to properly add your business uh, to Google My Business. For those of you who don't know, Google My Business is actually a free directory for adding your business um, in order to ha help people not only locate you, but leave reviews and things like that. As you see in this picture here of the uh, Jackalope Brewing Company, you'll see this and you've probably seen it before. For those of you who don't know, what Google My Business is, I will show you right quick here if I could type spray tanning. Um, and this is actually Google My Business profiles that they're picking up right here. So it displays the business name, it displays the address, reviews, uh, the type of business that it is, the phone number, website, and direction. So this is very, very valuable for any business and it's free. So why not take advantage of it? So I'm going to show you real quick how to create this. Uh, Karen Lauren from Bronze Goddess Spray Tanning in Michigan was kind enough to let me use her business as an example because she has not yet added it to Google My Business. So simply go to google.com forward slash business and you can add your business in here or you can Google it and it'll come up. Google My Business is what it's called. So we are ready to get started. All we're going to do is go to start now, start now, sign in, whatever you want. Any of these will work. I am already logged into her Gmail account. For those of you that do not have a Gmail account or don't want to use your personal Gmail account, simply create one for your business. For instance, her business is Bronze Goddess Spray Tan Tans. So she could get bronze goddess spray tans at gmail.com or something like that. So, like I said, I already have her logged in. So we're going to log directly in here. For those of you who have been around for a while and not created a profile, you might find out that typing in your business will actually pull up an existing business profile because sometimes these are created automatically by Google and they're not claimed. So some of them are unclaimed and you can claim them from here. For those of you that are a new business, you probably don't exist in the listing categories here. So you'll see here, there's actually two bronze goddess spray tins already. One's in Livermore, which obviously isn't her. And the others in Lincoln, Nebraska, also not her. And hers is Bronze Goddess Spray Tans with an S. As you'll see, there is another one. But we don't want to click on that because if you click on that, it's going to actually populate that business's information. Instead, we're just going to go ahead and skip down here to the address. So for those of you uh, that do not want to show your address, please don't worry. We're actually going to go ahead and do that anyway because I will tell you why in a minute. Uh, Michigan, there we go, zip code. Um, mm -hmm. All righty, so we're gonna do this. <clears throat> For those of you who are worried about putting your, your uh, home address in there, those that are doing mobile or maybe uh, from your house uh, tanning, don't worry. When we get to the bottom here, I'll show you in a second, there's actually a way to not include that information on the actual address so let me put this in here um, and when we go to category uh, obviously just add your business phone in here when we go to the category tanning salon is going to be your best selection i've looked through the options you can type in spray tanning but it will not actually let you submit the information like that so tanning salon is a category we're going to use that we're going to use uh, her website address here paste it down now this is the part where you can actually hide your address so i deliver goods and services to my customers at their location if you're a mobile tanner and don't want to display your home address just go ahead and click yes if you hit no it'll actually show your physical address like these with pinpoints on the map just like this if you have a physical location i definitely recommend that because it'll pinpoint you and pull up people that are closer uh, to you will definitely find you based off your address but if you don't want to display your address make sure you hit yes meaning that Google will show you as somebody that services a specific area, but not pinpoint you on a map like these are. So we're going to go ahead and hit yes. And I already know from this that her address probably isn't going to work. And the reason being is she's in a brand new neighborhood. Google has not already populated that. So what we're going to do, um, this is just probably a rare example where we're going to actually set her map marker. And what I did was I went to the real estate website and found almost exactly where the address is since she's not going to show her physical address anyway it's not 100 percent necessary to be 100 percent accurate but we want to be as accurate as possible so i'm going to put it there and hit done as you'll see here we have the business name filled out we have her physical address filled out we have her contact phone number 
the category uh, tanning salon, and then we have her website. Now, for those of you that create Yelp listings or any other listings, it's important that the this information is consistent. The business name like this, the phone number with dashes or not with dashes, the website with this in front of it or without it, it needs to be consistent. So make sure you do that. And after we enter this information, we're just going to go ahead and hit continue. And right here. So right here, when you get to this point is you're actually going to put in the address and how far you'll serve your customers. So as you'll see here, we're just going to add in uh, South Lion um, because that's where she services. Um, you can also add a vis additional um, places as well, but we're not going to do that. We just want one. So we're going to do South Lion. Um, she can obviously come back later and add more. And then we're going to do, we can either add that or we can say within so many miles of my business. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to put within 30 miles of my business. Like I said, Karen is more than welcome to come in here and adjust this afterwards, but that's going to let Google know, okay, they can serve us up to 30 miles from that physical address. Um, and here again, I also serve customers at my business address. If you do not check this, um, then your address will be hidden. If you check it, then it, it'll show. So we don't want to check that for her because she's a mobile business and does not want to display her home address. So for those of you that don't, make sure you do not check that box. And after that, we're going to go ahead and click continue. Uh, so basically what it's going to tell us here is uh, you're going to manage. Bron's got a spray tanning of this address and this information. I am authorized to manage this business. So not only is this going to create a Google My Business profile, it also creates a Google Plus page, which is their social network that uh, most people don't use as actively as Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and so on and so forth. So we're going to do that, and we're going to hit continue. It actually goes through a quick process here and creates your Google My Business profile. And this is the last step, and this is something that's very important, uh, and this will take about two to three maybe even four weeks for you to receive what they do to verify that this is a real business and a real location is they'll actually mail you a postcard with a, with a verification code in it. So we're going to go ahead and hit mail because Karen's going to receive that in a few weeks here and set up her business and finish setting it up that way. And this will show you right here. We're going to put in her name on there just so she knows this is how it'll come directly from Google it says within one to two weeks sometimes it does take longer we're gonna go ahead and hit send postcard so as you see here Google saying all right we added your business that's great thank you so much but it's gonna take us a few minutes your business excuse me it's gonna take us until it gets verified until then it's gonna show as unverified so that code is only good for 30 days so I do recommend as soon as you receive it to plug it in here and you can actually go ahead and click continue and go on in and edit your Google My Business profile. I'm going to do that in another video. Thank you so much for joining. If you have any questions, you can always reach out to me, grant at happytans.com.